Nick here, aka Mr. Mr. Muscle, and I have a drill for you. Now this drill involves quick reaction, speed, agility, thinking, decision making, and more. So let's check out exactly what it is. Now here we have the 25 light drill. Now the name kind of gives you an idea of what we're going to do, maybe. But let's see the directions of how to do this drill. Now you're going to have a five light setup. Now they're going to be about two feet apart, 22 and a half inches to be exact for each light. Now we're going to line them up at the center where the sensor is measure it out so they're even because you want to make this standardized so we know what we're doing. Now, it's going to be a total of 25 lights sequence, meaning 25 lights are going to come on throughout the whole drill. Now, each light needs to be quickly extinguished. You got to put it out. Now, it's going to be crazy how they're coming on. It might be one at the first light, one at the last light, only one on at a time or all the lights on. But your goal is to put them out as fast as possible. And you're using your feet to do it. So it's side to side drill. You're moving laterally, but your feet are what's putting out the sensor. You just have to get it over the sensor so the light can go out. You don't want to waste any time because you're only going to be on for about three seconds. Now, once that three seconds is up, they go away and the next sequence comes along. But you want to be able to do it as quickly as possible. Now, you will continue this until you fully extinguish every single light and there's 25 total lights. Let's name 25. So you want to be able to do this as quick as possible but accurate. You don't want to waste any time or energy. You want to get there and put it out. Now that we know about how to do the drill, let's talk about what the drill can do for us. And like I always say, you gotta get your mind right and obviously see the light. Now, from the physical aspect of this drill, you definitely are working on agility. Now, agility gets a lot of interpretations that don't really go in what it really is. Now, a lot of people see it's just going side to side, change direction. Yes, that is part of agility. But the one part where fit light comes and makes it much, much better is that the change of direction is unknown. We're not pre-planning what to do. It could come from this side, that side, left, right, all the lights. So we don't know where it's coming from. So we always have to be having our head on a swivel ready to take action. Now, after that, anaerobic power. So this is using energy for a short time for high intensity bursts. And then on this drill, you're going left, right, exploding, side to side, making quick steps. So this is training that capacity to be able to make these intense movements over a decent amount of time. Not too long, but short enough that you can hold it at a high pace. And of course, lateral movement. You're changing side to side direction. This is key in a lot of sports. It actually helps with balance and body awareness too. Because now you're seeing, oh, where I have to go with my body to make this move. I have to put my foot over the sensor to put the light out. So you gotta be able to do that. Now we've talked about what it can do for your body, but what that mind do? Of course, I'm gonna include that in this. So let's talk about the cognitive benefits. First and foremost, reaction time. The light comes on, you have to quickly react and get to it and put it out. Now, decision making. You're probably thinking, where the decision coming on? You're just cutting the light out. But think about it. There's five lights spread out, and it could be any one coming on, or all of them. Now, sometimes you gotta choose which way you're gonna go first because this will affect how fast you're gonna do it, which overall is going to choose how your score is. So, decision making is a big part of any performance and in life, be able to know which way to go and what's gonna be the most beneficial to execute the intended goal. Cognitive flexibility. Now this term refers to the ability to look at things from different angles. Now if you see it as, I can go this way to do this and that, then you're probably gonna make a different choice based on how you perceive the information. So this will help because when you see these lights come on, you have to approach it in your way that you feel is best. Now different strokes from different folks, so it just depends on what you wanna do the best handle this drill. And then last, peripheral vision. You're looking downward at the lights. Your center of vision is focused, but you have to be able to see what's around you, the other side, left and right, to know which way to go. So you're working on this indirectly, so you have to choose, okay, if I see one light here, but on my peripheral, I see another light, I'm gonna have to choose which way I need to go. It's a very vital skill, knowing how to perceive as much information in your field of view as possible. Because remember, the eyes are the windows to the brain. So let's get into this drill, and let's show you how it's done. Just to reiterate the directions one more time, there's a five light setup, 22 and a half inches apart. The total of 25 lights that will come on throughout the sequence. You have to quickly extinguish the lights using your feet through the sensor so you do not have to touch. And then you continue to fully complete all the 25 lights.
New record, 700. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the 25 light drill. As you can see, high intensity, high pace, gets you thinking, great drill to do. Now, my question is, can you keep up? Saw my time, 0.700, that's a new record for me. You guys can give this a try at home. And remember, it's always, get your mind right and see the light. Thank you.